or he did a lot of things that made um, the people of Florida um, respect him. I'll take your question later, man. Um, and he did this in many ways. The first way is he um, has a strong, he had a strong A plus plan, which is still going. Um, it just it recently celebrated their 15th year anniversary, and it um, as one of the, one of the results of his 15 of his A plus plan was that he helped students uh, for one statistic was that like he helped the fourth of a group. The fourth grade students test scores improved, and um, the graduation rate was um, increased by 25 percent since 1998. 300 percent of 300% of students are taking more AP and honor classes and are passing. Also, um, Florida is now considered one of the top 10 most uh, has one of the top 10 strongest educations in um, America. So. As a result, when people have this strong education, that was um, strong education from this plan that was created by Jeb Bush. Then, th when they grow up and have, um, when they grow up and are able to vote, they will vote for him because they because he is a, he is partially accountable for their success. Um, with, and then, which leads me to my third contention: he is a man for the people. He supports education, like I said before. Um, in 1998 to 2005, the reading, the reading scores of fourth grade students in Florida on the National Assessment of Education Progress um, increased. And um, education reform is his, uh, his top priority, therefore he will take, um, if he can, if he can, in, in, um, if he makes education such a big priority in the state he's governing right now, the state, the state he was governing, then when he when he is running for president and when he wins president, he will make education one of his top priorities. Um, he also has he also gave education solid support in his office, and he protects gay rights. Now um, he said he didn't want to make them victims because there are already so many. And he um, when asked in an interview, he said that. He wanted to protect their rights. Um, also, he has a wife named. <laughs> he has a wife who is Latin American, or um, she's Mexican American, and she um, and Um, she helps. Okay. Um, he helped. He helped Im immigrants in Florida by not letting them, or by saying that they didn't have to leave because um, he is. He wants to help immigrants, and um, his wife is also against. Abuse. Therefore, my partner and I strongly affirm the resolution that Jeff Bush will win the 2016 <laughs> 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 Now. We strongly negate the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. So first I'll start for a brief about I'll start by going over some framework issues and moving on to refuting the affirmative team's case and moving on to our own negation case. 
So we agree with all their definitions, but they fail to define this debate, and we define this debate as a facts debate, which is, which means that whichever, whichever side supports um, has more evidence to support. Will win, and we uh, we set the criteria on as net benefits, which is the greatest overall good. Um, so that's how I'll start by refuting the affirmative team's case. So the affirmative team's first contention was that Jeb Bush has a presidential background, and he has uh, many people in his family who have also who have previously been president. So um, this qualified makes him more qualified to be president. Well, however. Um, George W. Bush has been a notorious president, um, and also he hasn't been in office since 2007, and a lot has changed since then. Oh, Je Jeb Bush hasn't been, okay, also, Jeb Bush hasn't been in office since 2007, and a lot has changed since then. Um, their second contention was that Florida is on its side, and they meant, uh, they talked about how he supported, he supported the A-plus plan, and how he made fourth graders' test scores increase, um, uh, they didn't really clarify on what exactly the A-plus plan is, and also, um, how much did the fourth graders' test scores improve? Uh, also, which tests are these? And, um, in Florida, there's also, there are Democrats and Republicans, and Democrats don't support, um, Jeb Bush because he is a Republican, and a lot of Republicans don't support him for his, uh, for his policies that he supports, which I will go over more in my own uh, the negation case. Um, their third contention was that Jeb Bush is a man, or quote unquote, a man for the people. So he supports education, and he has a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, um, that um, is Hispanic. Um, so also, a lot of people support education, but that doesn't necessarily make them a per, uh, a qualified presidential. Uh, that doesn't make them qualified to be the president of the United States. Um, also, we can say Hillary Clinton is also a woman for the people, so why not her vote Hillary for president? Um, also, um, he also supports Common Core, which is um, very unconstitutional, which I will go over more. In my second contention. Yes? Um, I haven't moved on to my questions, but I'm still in the case now. Okay, so with all the points refuted, we will move on to our own negation. So our first point is that deb um, conservatives do not trust Bush on immigration. Um, Bush, so basically, Jeb Bush favors a comprehensive approach to immigration that would give incentive for millions. For uh, millions of low skill or no skill people from south of the border to come to the north, where there'll be no jobs for them but plenty of expensive government services and hundreds of Democratic supervisors of elections eager to squeeze um, these new undocumented immigrants into voting, um, into Democratic voting booths. Also, um, I'm basically this means that Democrats will not vote for Jeb Bush and also. Um, yeah. Um, our second contention is that he's also he's a supporter for Common Core, and you might think, what is Common Core? So basically, Common Core is this educational. Uh, <laughs> so, so basically, uh, Common Core is this new education plan. Okay, and basically, Common Core is unconstitutional. And our founding fathers reserved education for state and local control. And Bush claims that Common Core is a key to raising the quality of, of American schools. Um, and a lot of uh, many parents and teachers across the country um, do not uh, do not support Common Core. And Common Core is very bad for teachers, as teachers will not have control over their. Um, have a lot of control under Common Core standards as they will be forced to comply with state standard, uh, standards decided upon by the uh, federal government, leaving little to no room for teachers to um, meet the needs of the, the students. And 
Also, Common Core is very costly as it costs it's up to $927 million per year. Um, and our third contention is that of media. The legacy of George W. Bush has negative effect on his brother's future, and this is from also according to Washington. Okay, this is from Washington Post. Also, according to them, 50% um, of registered voters said that they would definitely not vote for Jeb Bush. Um, and even though 18% of Republicans said the same, um, media. And um, and eighty percent of Republicans said the same. Also, his, his mother even said, his mother Barbara Bush even said, "We've had enough Bushes." So what does that <laughs> say? <laughs> what is what is own mother? It doesn't really like approve of this. Okay. Also, according to Huffington Post, Jeff Bush supported the stand uh, the stand your ground yeah. law. Yeah. Yes. Can you clarify what you said? Um, th that of media and what? media. Did you listen and to what I just said? <laughs> okay. According oh. to Huffington Post. Okay. According to Huffington, uh, Huffington Post, Jeb Bush supported the Sandra Ground law license to use deadly force in uh, self defense without the duty to retreat. And So it justifies. Okay. So it justifies killing people for self-defense, and so far, twenty-six children have been victims of this and have died. <laughs> oh, so as a summary, Jeb Bush uh, will not win the two thousand sixteen presidential presidential election. Because Democrats don't trust Bush on immigration, therefore meaning Democrats won't vote for Jeb Bush. He is also a supporter of Common Core, and many Republicans do not, um, and Democrats both do not approve of this, um, this, and also that of media because of his brother, his family ties, and how, uh, not, but, okay, yeah, how, how George W. Bush um, was not the best president. <laughs> As a member of the affirmative team, I strongly affirm the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. First, I will be going over our own case with our Bill reviewing the points of litigation. Our first point was that of the presidential background, of Jeb Bush's presidential background, and that's because his because George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush both worked in, as presidents, um, he is qualified. They refuted that by saying that he hasn't been in office for the past seven years, and but that still doesn't mean that he's unqualified because he's already been working. Because because he can still give the advice and. Advice from these people that comes from his brother and his dad, who have both been presidents, and learn from the mistakes that they've made as presidents, so that he can become a better president. Um, 
He also has, and because of his experience as governor of Florida, he can use that, apply that as president. Um, and because people have seen how, how well he's done as governor of Florida, they will more likely vote for him. Our second contention was that Florida is on his side and they care about him. Um, they refuted that by saying that we do not clarify that what the A-plus plan is. And what the A-plus plan does is that it supports better teachers and pays them more so that the better teachers will continue to teach in these schools and increase the education rates. And to repeat some statistics, <laughs> the graduation rate went up 25% since the plan happened, and 300% more students are taking more AP and honor classes and passing them. And since, this has been since 1988, these people have grown up and have benefited from what Jeb Bush has allowed them to do, which means with these AP classes that they pass, pass and graduation rates, they are more, educate, more educated and have better quality of life, and which they, they can thank Jeb Bush for. So because of that, they already, are, they already support Jeb Bush because of how he helped them in their education and life. Um, our third contention was that he is a man for the people. And he, he his, yes. OK, could you please clarify? Um, which test the four graders took, and also how much did the test course increase by? We do not have that information. Oh, on the test was the National Assessment of Educational Progress, but we don't have how much they increased. But we already have the statistics that 25% graduation rate went up, and that 300 the AP test passing rate has increased. Uh, so our third contention was that he is a man for the people and education reform is in his top priority and he uh, has he yeah he also protects gay rights and he help he supports immigrants so they refuted that by only refuting our education point of, of that of Common Core, and they said that Common. And they talked about how bad Common. They talked about how bad Common Core is. But with this A plus plan, these teachers are being paid better, which means that they'll more be more likely to want to teach their students, and with that, they'll be more passionate about teaching, and better teach their students even with this Common Core. Oh, how's it going? So their first okay, contention was that he favors the comp He favors a comprehensive approach and mm -hmm. to immigration and that's expensive for undocumented immigrants. And they also said that Demo Democrats will not vote for Jeff Bush. Uh, they are Democrats and <laughs> okay, so, so it, there are like millions of immigrants in the United States right now, and if we give them the job that he wants to give them, we can better support our economy and increase the amount of money that is going into our economy. So even though it's expensive, the money will go back right to us because they are working for us. Our, their second contention was that they supported Common Core and that it is not supported by parents and teachers and it's not, and it's very expensive. However, Common Core uses real life applications which are actually beneficial for students in the future because, right, because without Common Core they can't really clearly see how the things they're learning in school applies to real life, and they become unmotivated to learn in school. So with Common Core, they see that this is that what they're learning in school is applicable to real life, and they're 
more likely to learn, which will also, which will allow them to stay in school and if they graduate and continue to get jobs, it will pay for the cost of this bit. Their third contention was that of media. And they said that, his mom said that there was already too many bushes. <laughs> but, um, and um, according to Tampa Bay Times, she changed her mind about that. Yeah, she did. About saying that, so that. So, and because Jeb Bush has a presidential background and he is on, and he cares about education, uh, Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential. Good job, guys. That was so fun. Is that sarcasm? I smell. I smell, <laughs> I yes, I smell the sarcasm. I think those are the fries. I just smell. Smell. <laughs> okay. Who am I? Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, okay. So, my black is on the podium. Are my opponents ready? <laughs> no, no, we're never so no give us Okay, you're not ready. Okay. My yes, opponents are not ready. I apologize, Judge. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Me. Time starts now. Um, I strongly negate the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. Uh, Me coming too. Up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as a brief roadmap, um, okay. So as a brief roadmap, I'll go over refutations to their refutations, to our contentions. And then I'll go over um, our refutations to to their refutations to our contentions, and then <laughs> we'll go over just to clarify a couple things about our own contention because things may have gotten mixed up or possibly unheard by our opponents. Um, so okay, so their first contention was that of um, George Bush has a presidential background in the past. To this, my partner had stated uh, George Bush, or sorry, George, Jeb. Bush has had a good presidential background and, and past. And to this, my partner stated that George Bush has been a notorious president um, within the United States. And it actually impairs the ability for Je Jeb Bush to actually be elected. To this, uh, they stated, OK, oh, oh, so my partner had also stated that uh, Jeb Bush hasn't held office since 2007. So that was hmm, eight years ago. So yeah. And then so how does that make him because he hasn't had, okay, so it's been eight years since he's last had office, so he may have forgotten some things or possibly even, like, lost, um, or possibly even, how are the other candidates more qualified than him? Hillary Clinton. Okay, so, <laughs> so to this, they just said, okay, they kind of disregarded um, our point about the fact that he hasn't held office since 2007. I'll take your question later if I have time. <laughs> okay, so, um, to, to both of our refutations, they had stated this. That still doesn't mean he's unqualified. Um, so, okay, so it, it still doesn't mean he's unqualified, but however, um, I, I like to point out that they actually kind of drop one of our refutations, like about George Bush being a notorious president. They really, really didn't say anything about that or to address that. And um, what we're arguing here right now in this debate is whether Jeb Bush will be elected in the 2016 presidential election. So, um, so what this means is that we're seeing whether he will be elected or not. It's basically a yes or no question based on what we know thus far. So uh, my our contention that uh, George W. Bush has been notorious president still stands because, as we know, media often um, like by. George Bush being this notorious president, it actually makes this bad reputation for the Bush family, thus making it difficult for people to actually vote for Jeb Bush, as they know that uh, his in further down in his family line that um, that there was a mess up, there was a screw up, and this media kind of basically like magnifies this, so it makes this bad reputation for uh, the Bush family, thus 
uh, Jeb Bush would not be elected. So our, our reputation still stands, and um, and this, this isn't a matter of whether uh, Jeb Bush is qualified or not. This is a matter of whether he will actually be elected or not. So thus, our reputation still stands. So the second contention was that of the fact that Florida is on his side. Um, and my, my partner had stated that you know their A plus plan was unclear, and um, and really no one else is actually going to vote for um, Jeb Bush. So uh, yes, what is your question? Can you repeat what you just said? Like your wait, what what I just said many many things. I'm sorry. Never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. So. Um, I shall continue. Okay, so um, the second contention was that uh, Florida's on his side. My partner had stated, like, really no one else is going to vote for him. The Democrats are against him. Even a couple of the Republicans are against him. Um, and she had also stated that their A-plus plan was unclear. So they ignored our reputation that, like, really no one else is going to vote for him. And they basically just clarified their A-plus plan for their reputation to our reputation. So they stated that the A-plus plan supports teachers with... Uh, more money and such as that. So um, one of our refutations still stands, but I'm still going to refute their point uh, of clarification about the A-plus plan anyway. So um, the A-plus plan supports teachers with more money, but how do they know what teachers are doing well? Like, how do they know this? Do they make the students take tests? Uh, do, they, do they make the teachers take a test? So, um, and also, these tests are quite limiting, actually. So um, I'll go over that a little bit more and how these tests actually limit education and make um, whether a teacher's good or not kind of subjective. And um, yeah, so they drop one of our reputations and we kind of refuted the fact that the new test plan is good. So now on to uh, the third contention. Um, they stated he's a man for the people and he has a wife. So, <laughs> so as my partner has stated, um, Hillary Clinton is a woman for the people. As we know, the female population is um, kind of basically on Hillary Clinton's side and like wanting to vote her for president. She has a lot of favor uh, with her. She um, she has this great rep she has this reputation. And then um, and then my partner had also stated that uh, people who support education aren't people who like just because someone supports an education doesn't mean that they are completely qualified to be the U U.S. president. To this, they said the A-plus plan solves this. That's all they said. They said the A-plus plan is good and it solves this. But as I have stated, okay, so first they dropped our reputation about Hillary Clinton and how she is very favored amongst uh, this population. And um, so they just said the A-plus plan solves this and it's good and it gives, um, and it gives, um, it gives <laughs> Jeb Bush this uh, awesome reputation. However, um, I'd like to refute this once again. Um, so they dropped a the refu refutation, obviously. And um, I'd like to refute this again about how these tests that maybe like monitor the teacher's ability to teach or something like that could actually be limiting to education. I'm going to go over that more in depth um, in my uh, contentions if I have time. And so, okay, our first contention was that of the fact that um, many conservatives don't trust Bush on immigration. To this, they stated millions of immigrants in the U.S. could be given jobs. I'm just saying the policy that um, Jeff Bush has on immigration doesn't actually give people uh, jobs. And there are no jobs. And there's going to be no jobs for the immigrants, uh, apparently. So, um, so they stated that, okay, just to clarify, that was a bit confusing. Um, millions, they stated that millions of immigrants in the U.S. will receive jobs. And it's almost as if they're basically guaranteeing that these immigrants will actually get these jobs. However, there are no jobs. Like, there are really no, like, good jobs that can be given to immigrants uh, for them to sustain their families and such. Um, okay, so our second contention is that of he's supportive of the Common Core. Common Core is bad, bad blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they said, without Common Core, um, people or students can't see real life applications, thus they would be less motivated to um, educate themselves or basically pay attention, score, do well. However, uh, the Common Core is actually um, ineffective. Um, and as my partner stated, it's um, unconstitutional and yeah, and so our third contention was that of uh, media and how that like hinders the ability for Jeb Bush 
to be elected as president. Um, to this, they refuted uh, by saying that Jeb Bush, Bush's mom changed her mind about what she said. <laughs> Apparently that's the only thing they heard, the quotation from Jeb Bush's mom. They did not hear ah! Okay, okay, media is bad. Media makes things okay, so she may have said she may have changed her mind, but her statement in the past still exists amongst the population, thus it is bad. Okay, also uh, fifty percent according to Washington Post, fifty percent of registered voters said they would definitely not vote for Jeb Bush, and eighteen percent of Republicans actually said that they wouldn't vote for him either. Okay, okay. Um, therefore, I strongly get the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. How long was that? I can't take 40. There was too much to refuse. <laughs> you only get seven minutes. That's not fair. You can't okay, raise it that once. Okay, what's the case? Raise it what? Like nine minutes? Remember the time it's raised with the 845? Wants to know. They do. Raise it what? Nine minutes. But she has to win. I was. Oh, I didn't no. choose that. 845 she was like, hey. No, like, the room set was like desk oh, here, and then they were like, oh, Okay, go. 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 I'm done here. Okay, bye, Claire. Um, okay, time starts. Now we strongly leave the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. So this round of some voter issues, round of some issues, I'll be going over the voter issues for why you, John, should vote for the negation team. So our first voter issue is out of criteria which the affirmative team failed to set. And the affirmative team is supposed to take on the burden of setting the criteria, however, they failed to. We know the negation team had to take on this heavy burden of <laughs> the criteria. And as we said, this criteria of net benefits, we better adhere to the criteria. So basically, um, people do not want Jeb Bush, therefore he will not be elected um, because of his immigration policies, which um, Democrats still support, and also because he, and just because of the mere reason that he's a Republican, Democrats do not support him. Also, our second vote issue is um, that of drug reputations. Um, they dropped the refutation. Okay. They dropped our um, our contention to how immigrants, which our contention, which was immigrants will, uh, which is that uh, Democrats don't trust don't trust immigrants, and they also dropped our refutation to their their contention, which was uh, a man for the people. Um, with that said, I'll start by uh, going over our case once more. Our first contention was that Democrats don't trust but Bush on immigration, and our second contention was that he's a supporter of Common Core, and Common Core is unconstitutional, unaffected, and very costly. And um, our third contention being on the media because the legacy of George W. Bush has a negative effect on him, and also. Um, According to Washington Post, 50% of registered voters said they would definitely not vote for Jeb Bush, and even 18% of Republicans said the same thing. So for all these reasons, I strongly urge a negation. I have to go. I have to go over my Speech I'll be going over voter issues with you since I think our contribution is here. So, my partner and I strongly affirm the resolution that Jeb Bush will win the 2016 presidential election. Um, we will, I will begin by starting with, um, with okay, I will um, be explaining 
some other issues as to why we have ruled in this, why the, why the affirmation to move in this debate should win this debate. Okay, <laughs> first of so, um, there, so, You're just presenting your voter issues like they're facts. Clarifying the language. Okay, so um, the negation team said uh, to start off. Our ne the negation team said that we dropped um, uh, we dropped the point where they re refuted our statements when we said that Jeb Bush was a man for the people, and then for this they refuted this. They refuted this with um, Hillary Clinton. However. Um, they failed to tell. They failed to say why. They failed to tell us why it matters. Because when, also when my partner stood up and asked, um, asked who are let's say who's another candidate, they simply said Hillary Clinton. Like, um, who? This doesn't. This doesn't. This shouldn't be an adequate answer to our question. Who is Hillary Clinton? Is she? Don't kill me. <laughs> is she? Um, why and why is she relevant? Um, they failed. They they failed to tell us this. Therefore, we can't. Um, therefore, they can't. Sim they can't. Sim okay. And therefore, that's not that's not a clear refutation as to why Jeb Bush shouldn't run. Um, they also they also failed um, in their first speech. They failed to define define Common Core. Yet they were um, they were bashing on us for not. Properly defining their A plus, our A plus plan, and in fact they said, and I quote, "Common Core was a program," and then, then from there began to mutter into <laughs> obscurity. Um, that being said, that being said, um, uh, yeah, okay. That being said, we're on the same boat here. Okay. <laughs> Fix what? Um, oh, okay. Um, we're on the same. We're on a similar boat here, except the A plus plan, and or Jeb Bush supports the A plus plan and Common Core made the A plus plan and supported Common Core, which and like my partner said before, Common Core um, is beneficial for future students because they do um, they it. It teaches students about the real world. Okay. Um, moving on to our first contention, um, or to go over our three contentions, I will start with our first, which was that, which was that um, uh, Jeb Bush has a presidential background. And I would also like to point out that when they said, um, when they talked about Hillary Clinton being a good candidate, wait, sorry, can I bring that up? Am I allowed to? Because it's an insult. Um, if you're refuting it, and if she touched on it at all, or if you feel like they explained it more in the last two speeches than you did. If you're responding to anything that's said in the last two speeches, or expand what she said. Or just say it, and hopefully it'll um, um, and they proceeded to say that Hillary Clinton was um, stronger. I would also like to point out that Hillary Clinton is the wife of former President Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton also was notorious for many things that he did. So therefore, they cannot they cannot refute our statement when we they cannot refute our statement with by saying that George. Um, that, that the George Bushes were very notorious in office because Hillary Clinton's husband was also very notorious when he was in office. Okay, now that that's cleared up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. That was terrible. I don't even. <laughs> that wasn't terrible. No, it was like terrible. I didn't know what. Okay, I didn't understand what terrible was. Yeah, you guys were contradicting. The first thing was is that it seemed like you wanted to talk about other things. You were talking about a lot of kind of irrelevant things. Like you yeah. want to talk about Common Core for a while. 
where first of all, you didn't really make a strong link link between Jeb Bush and Common Core, and then you didn't yes. make a strong link between Common Core and not winning an election. Yeah. So it was like an entirely irrelevant point. Yeah, like, because like there think, was no link between them. Carolyn said to prep her food separately because she said it was faster and better. No. no and then no. I was sitting there like, no. isn't that the story? Yes. They don't even and talk to each then other. they don't really know. You know, I had I no idea what I was reading. She said like there are no jobs for immigrants. I'm not sure. That's See, true. the problem yeah. that I had with your case is that you didn't really seem to like you don't have any strong independent reasons. Like you seem to have the Hillary Clinton footprint would win instead. Like that would be a stronger case yeah. against Jeb Bush and like why Jeb Bush is bad. But your Jeb Bush bad points were not specific to Jeb Bush. So like that's the problem. If you like try to make a link, like you talk about Common Core and immigrant jobs, but they're not specific to Jeb Bush. Yeah, I, I was trying to tell Carolyn to say that his daughter actually did jobs. I think that we had a okay, reputation to that. Also, that's not gonna like like that's not specific to why he would be a bad candidate. Like that would yeah. be maybe by why he might not get elected, and that's a different point. So that would be under like he won't get elected because of personal issues, and then that would be all the personal reasons why he might not get elected. Yeah, and he might not get elected because of political reasons. All the political reasons he might not get under underneath that. We need to have stronger links between them. Because yeah, like, this is just as like, it was presented, it was very messy. Yeah, it was a bad debate. Which brings me to the point: you guys need to connect far, far more to the voters. You yeah. said like all of your points were like Bush is bad, Bush is good, he has a background. First of all, it's brother and father being president does not mean he's qualified. Yep. First thing. It, that's independent. If your father's a lawyer, that doesn't mean you're automatically a lawyer. If that, no, that does not mean. Second of all, um, yeah, you need to since the resolution says we'll win these um, elections, you need to be saying things like Jeb Bush supports this type of immigration reform. Blank percentage of the population supports this type of reform. Blank percentage of the population is say un, are migrants and thus support this reform because he has the support, he will be able to win. Right? It doesn't matter if he supports an immigration reform because you don't tell us if anyone else does. Yeah. Right? You're just assuming we think immigration reform is bad. But what if the judge doesn't think it's like what if they don't like immigration reform? Right? So you need to be saying it doesn't matter what you think about it. What matters is that so and so percentage of voters, if you're saying it, it better be a majority of voters, support that idea, right? Um, that goes for both sides actually. You need to be like actually talking about why he would or would not win. Nay? You guys need an alternative. Yeah, we just, I didn't know. What right? So the alternative would is be Hillary. Hillary. Yeah. Like, definitely. Because since we're assuming already that Jeb Bush is the Republican nominee, things have, he's definitely not getting the Democratic nomination anytime soon. So you need to be saying Hillary Clinton would beat Jeb Bush. And then, yeah. like, have reasons well, of why yeah, Hillary those, Clinton would win. Yeah, there are a lot like of the most obvious thing, and then uh, yeah. I was told to search up education and Policies. I was told to search up immigration policies. I was told up right. to search up. I was told to search up things that weren't really relevant. I didn't understand. So why do you have and to do what she says? Is what I'm asking you. Yeah, because have your own brain. Just do what you want to do. Okay. And tell yeah. her like and try to coordinate. Yeah, try to coordinate. Yeah. And then okay, another thing that goes for everyone. When you're refuting, try not to have defensive refutations. You guys tend to default to things like they didn't explain this or like asking questions like what if this doesn't work. Don't do that. Yeah. Just say, this won't work. And like, proceed to continue with that. And if you're going to say they were vague, I mean, you can. It's not the strongest refutation. Literally, many of these things that you try to refute, you could have said, one, they're irrelevant and explain why. Two, they're entirely insignificant and explain why, right? You don't even have to try to say they didn't explain it. Because like, the first point on the like background as president you guys did not have to say that he was notorious. You literally could say, just say, this doesn't matter. And explain why it doesn't matter. The fact that his father was in office doesn't mean he's qualified. The fact that his brother's in office doesn't mean he's qualified. None of that has anything to do with it. And then you can also bring in the fact that his entire family is unpopular. He will not win because no one no, wants another Bush in office. Intention. Right? No. no one wants another Bush. That's like simply the fact of the matter. No one wants to see another push. Also, the 50% stat of definitely not voting for is good. You then want the stat of this number percentage of people is unlikely to vote for. And then you're saying that's a majority you won't win. And you guys need to touch on that. That is like literally so important. Touch on what? Him saying 
or the source saying 50% oh, yeah. definitely would not vote for. Yeah. That is yeah. literally we, impossible to get a majority. How would we touch on that? Though? Then either say, A, that's not true, or B, everyone else has less. But you need to be refuting, right? You can't just say, his mother retracted the statement. Okay. Great. Yeah. That was like the most irrelevant part. It was, of yeah, it's just about. Yeah, and the fact that they retracted it, you know, you need to be saying it. it doesn't like well, no one's really paying attention to that, right? Wait, to what? To his mom saying we don't need. No, I was just saying. Okay, so that whole point that wasn't explained well, and I didn't have time to explain. I was gonna like go over it like a crap ton, but um, so basically what happened? Okay. So what our point was, was that it was like about media, and this is the point that I was researching, like, and how media is affecting, or like, hindering his ability to actually be elected because he's unpopular. Right, like, that's good. But, but it needs to come out as that. Yeah, well, right. I was trying to, but I went nine minutes, which yeah. is a problem. which means time management yes. also needs to be a thing. Just you spend too much time start. repeating yourself. Yeah. Especially at the beginning, you were getting rather redundant. So just do it concisely and move on. So nothing was making sense to me. I was actually trying to read myself the whole time. Like, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Also, I'm just doing the general stuff. All of you guys dropped a lot. Like, I was uh, flowing through. I have so many question marks and circles. The gay rights thing, refute that. Oh, okay. You guys should have brought that back up. Bring up that they dropped it. And then bring up, like... Blank percentage of people support expanding gay rights. Thus, he will win because he has this sector of the vote. The fact that he supports it means he's less likely to get the Republican nomination. But we're not talking about that, so it's okay. Um, yeah. Um, also, Meg was trying to say, like, as a voter issue that they didn't set a criteria on. Okay, please don't. I know it was I know it was Carolyn, but like tell her it you can say if they didn't set one then set it yourself. But beyond like the very first novice tournaments, judges literally do not care. Like you need to be explaining <laughs> seriously. The heavy burden. <laughs> yeah, no. It takes all of twenty seconds. You need to be explaining that though. Yeah. Most people literally will not set one and then like bring it up like assume policy net benefits in the end. It's like varsity level doesn't even care. Right? Wait, Carolyn said it as net benefits. Yes, which is fine. Like, set the criteria. Yeah, wait, but so you don't need to say it as a voter issue. Wait, so as a voter issue, we don't talk about how they dropped it? And it was you would want to say, we connect to the criteria and they don't. Okay. You want to connect to it, but you don't need to say they didn't set one, therefore they lose. Oh, okay. I mean, like, if you can like argue, like, <coughs> if you want to argue, like, it's not they, no one wins on that argument. Yeah, there is yeah. not a single person. You well, I didn't set a criteria, and I guess that I mean it does not win. You don't win on it. Like, so, I mean, it's a if they point. set a bad criterion that is entirely unfair, yeah. and you argue that effectively, that you can win. But just not setting a criteria, you're not gonna be like even okay. if you win that argument, that will not win you the round, and it's a waste of time. Okay, so we don't talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Also, guys. They said that we need to weigh the round on whoever has more evidence. Though they did not bring it back, that needs to be attacked. They just said whoever has the most evidence wins the round. If you don't have any evidence, then you have no hope. And they, if they're a shady team, will bring that back up in their voter speech and be like, we said in this speech that whoever has more evidence wins the round, and you didn't refute it. Thus, whoever has more evidence wins the round, and they proceed to list all the evidence that you, they have and you don't. So you need to refute that, right? Saying we don't want to look at quantity of evidence. That's unimportant. The point of a fact round is not who has sheer number of facts. The point is quality of facts. Who can prove their side more true, right? So if they bring that up, that's like tag, phrase, respond to. So if you that, I would know we lost in the term that we didn't understand. So, um, let's see. You guys got really confused if it was conservatives or Democrats who didn't support immigration reform. Yeah, that's, that's why I, I was confused. I didn't know myself. what she was. I didn't know what they were. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what that was. I did not like our points, Ashton. If he's yeah. in a Hillary Clinton, no, okay. I just let him die. Okay. <laughs> Asked. Yeah. For your guys' so your third point, right, was man for the people or whatever. You literally could have just done that as your case. Split that up into three points. That is your case. Right? We don't really, like, 
background in government doesn't really matter. Guys, the fact that he's been out of government for eight years does not mean he's not a qualified A and B that has nothing to do with him being elected. Yeah. Florida caring about him yeah. while sounding nice has absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay, Florida votes for him. That's one of 50 states. Florida is not that big. You can lose Florida and still win. Really? Oh. Yeah, you can lose there Florida are, and still win. But there is, oh. Like, uh, that's okay. what, did Carolyn There's an article, on? Tampa Bay, that says, well, Tampa if Bay Florida was... doesn't have it, then he will lose. The, the other guy, uh, the, the guy who's running for the Republican That might be true for a Republican nomination, but it's definitely not true for a presidential election. Exactly. Because the way votes work in the electoral college, which you guys also should have been talking about, Remember, this is not just random popular vote. This is an electoral college system. As stupid as it is, that is what we are talking about. Right? So you want to be saying, Florida alone, I don't know how many votes it has, but it doesn't have that many. 22. There we go. It has 22. You need, like, two more? I did an entire step speech on it, and I no longer remember. But you need a lot more than that. And right now, the way votes are going, they're all slated towards Democrats. Hint, hint, Hillary Clinton was a really strong argument. Yes, it was. I was. There's literally entirely entire articles on why the electoral college is slated towards the Democrats. Yeah. Just in general. I was wondering why we didn't argue that. Like that was literally my step topic, and I had like an entire like long article about why the Democrats would get the electoral college no matter who they are. Yeah, it's just like 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 we looked up. The, the first thing that popped up when we looked up what Jed, did you search? Jed Bush will, Jed Bush will, and then it said Jed Bush will not win the, the 2016 <laughs> presidential election. That was the first thing that came up. Yeah. I was like, lovely. You guys actually have really good reputations. <laughs> well, okay, the thing no, you want to do is you want to, before you turn to the our internet, reputation. you want to be thinking. So you want to think, okay, Jed Bush will win. Who will he have to be? Immediate thing should be Hillary Clinton. Because she's literally like one of the strongest Democratic candidates at the moment, right? So you want to say, okay, Jeb Bush needs to beat Hillary Clinton. What kind of policies is he beating on? And then focus on that, right? Because he doesn't have to worry about beating other Republican nominees. None of the rest of the Democratic nominees are anywhere near the ball known, right? So just focus on that. That'll help, like, refine your search before you turn to the computer. Yeah, like, say benefits of the, instead of, like, he will yeah. do it, he will not. So, like, if we debated this topic, or, like, say we did, yeah. and we, and then this came up, do you think we would have lost? Um, or does it depend on the judge? I feel like you win this one, because two of our points were absolutely irrelevant. And it depends on the judge, honestly. I wasn't thinking about it in the frame of who would win, honestly. But, you... I feel like they would win because they actually have relevant points and actually know what they were talking about. I, I the thing is, if you guys vote for the fifty percent, won't vote for like and hit hard on that, you probably would have won just on that. But yeah. because you didn't, you had really good points that you can make. Yeah, because like I didn't understand, <laughs> and then Carolyn didn't understand my point, and then we didn't understand yeah, each other's point. This is why you guys need to practice together. Exactly. Yeah. For the sake of your debating. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Um, Claire, when you're trying to go through the chain of reputations, just say I'm going to go app case and net case. Yeah. Don't say I'm going to be refuting the reputation to the reputation to our points. That's just a tongue twister. Yes, yes, yes. Just say I'm going to go app case and net case. Okay. Yeah. Guys, don't drop framework. If they drop framework, bring it back up. Instead of just having framework, dropping, dropping. Oh, it's a voter issue. Right, that's yeah. a little cheap. Just a little. Um, is this a common core actually used for the Bible app page? No. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I would suggest not defending Common Core and like saying Common Core good. I'm not even actually sure he supports Common Core. I was wondering if you meant mention Common Core. It's not related to anything they're talking about. Yeah. Like, well, if you don't understand what Common Core is, no, we then don't talk about it. Oh, I like, matter if you like, understand what Common Core is. I'm sorry, <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Common Core is common the best way to go. You guys could have said, like, the thing you want to be arguing there is that he supports the type of things that no one else does. 
That is literally all you guys are getting as men, right? Saying that Jeff Bush supports blank, blank things, but no one else cares about them or yeah. everyone else hates it, right? So you need to be saying if he supports Common Core, which I am sincerely doubting, yeah. not actually sure about that. This reason that it doesn't. Then you need to be saying everyone else hates it, so they will vote for him solely because of it, but I'm sort of doubting that as well. It's like he doesn't, I don't think he, he likes the idea of it, I think. But Which is good, if he likes the idea of it. But Almost everyone agrees it. the implementation of Common Core was awful. <sighs> yeah. Poor kids. Uh, I do okay. not like this debate. <laughs> it was Sorry. so messy. Is there going to be... It's one of my most messy. Is this going to be an easy topic on this? Probably not. I'm going to hope so. Oh my gosh. Should we research? Should we print the You have internet. Yeah, so we don't need to. We will be fine. One of the topics is going to be though. economy versus environment. So that's probably going to be that. Just because that makes more sense. But I mean, it might not be. Oh, I, I, we are good about the car. Yeah. Dude, I like the, I like the uh, I don't know. Middle East the dependency. <laughs> I, 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 okay. I think this is one of my worst debates. No, I think I don't know. I think the Tuesday one was Tuesday one was fun. Yeah, because I like, was good. Well, I didn't do well. But like, so they had good points in the environment. And what you want to argue is that no, caribou's, caribou's, caribou's. You need economic development to be able to invest in environmental protection or to be successful. Yes, That's literally the pattern every country follows. The whole industrial revolution, Great Britain, the United States, all of Europe, they wrecked the environment What's entirely. What's wrong with China then? China <laughs> has not yet gotten to that stage. Slash, they are actually turning things around and doing a very good job trying to get reforms. They just haven't worked yet. But I mean, they had enough pollution like going that it might take a while. No, like comprehensive reforms to actually like stop. Oh, hello. So much pollution. They're probably so doing better than the U.S. Right. Given that the U.S. Has, still has climate change deniers. <laughs> I believe it was like this year they voted in the Senate to say climate change is real. My one person voted against it. My 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 seventh grade teacher was against. I mean, like some people. He was this, now that I think about it, he was this. He would take his Republican like ideas and shove them down our throats, and we didn't even know them. And we didn't. We didn't even know. And he. We thought he was so smart because he was old and wise, 